Hello, my friends. How are you today? I am Sean of Third Relify, and uh, thanks for being here. We're going to talk about this pretty crazy uh, story. Um, a Miss Switzerland finalist. She strangled and pureed in a blender, because how else are you going to puree a, a human being by her husband? Killer used a jigsaw and garden shears to dismember the victim. Now, this this sounds pretty gruesome. Um, I haven't read past the headline, so you know what I know. It's an adventure that we're going to do together. So stick around for that. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. Um, but like, subscribe, share, all of those things. Follow me on YouTube, on Rumble, on Twitter. On locals, thirdrailify.locals.com. That's the best way to support me. And, uh, you know, let's, let's dive in. Dive into this awful crime. A former Miss Switzerland finalist was allegedly strangled and dismembered with a jigsaw and garden shears before being pureed. In a blender by her husband. I. Okay. That's, the body of 38 year old model Christina Joksimovic was found in February in Beningen near Basel in Switzerland. A Basel? A cell? I don't know. I have no idea. Her husband, who was only named by pseudonym Thomas in local media, he's 41 years old, had an appeal for release from custody rejected today by the federal court in Lucien after admitting to having killed his wife. An ongoing investigation concluded today there are concrete indications of mental illness underlying the case. You don't say. You don't say. If you're going to strangle your wife and then cut her to pieces and put her in a blender and make a smoothie out of her, whether or not you drink the smoothie, irrelevant at this point. You've already crossed the I'm a crazy asshole Rubicon. The I'm psychotic and need to be locked away for the rest of my life. That Rubicon's been crossed. I think indications of mental illness is probably. An understatement. Christina's husband is reported to have claimed he killed her in self-defense after she came at him with a knife. He then reportedly said he dismembered the ex-model with whom he has uh, two children in a panic. I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that's real. Now, could he have killed her in self-defense? Yes. Absolutely, he could have. Could she have come at him with the knife? Maybe she was having mental illness issues as well. Who knows? I mean, we know bitches be crazy. But, <laughs> but, but seriously, though, at that point, you call police. And you say, listen, uh, a terrible thing has happened. She has come at me with a knife in self-defense. I did this. I am here. The evidence is basically unfucked with. It's it's here. Please come do your job. And then they will likely arrest you. Sometimes not. Sometimes it will be a clear case of, oh, we can very obviously see the self-defense. This is fine. But more often than not, you're arrested, and then you'll then have your self-defense as a defense to your crime. But then you you panic? Sure, you, you can panic because, oh, goodness, uh, a thing that I've done, an action that I've taken now has forever permanent consequences, not just for me, but for this individual who's now deceased, but also the two children that we have together. Like, killing somebody has far-reaching consequences impl and implications for m many people. But <laughs> I'll also say, cutting a human being up is a, it's a hard job. It's not easy. Like, 
I str I struggle with getting like the the breast bone out of like chicken breast that hasn't been deboned. I couldn't imagine cutting a human being up. That's that's just so much work. So after the panic sort of subsides, you know, it's um it's a big job. It's a big job. You can only stay panicked for however long the uh, adrenaline lasts, and then you're just left with a bloody corpse. Christina's body was found on the evening of February 13th. Investigators determined that Christina had been strangled before she died. Obviously, she wasn't pureed that well. A verdict states the suspect confessed to strangling his wife. An autopsy concluded that the body was then dismembered in the laundry room the jigsaw, a knife, and garden shears. Body parts were then chopped up with a hand blender, pureed, and dissolved in a chemical solution. That's uh, that's a lot of planning. It doesn't sound like panic. It doesn't sound like panic at all. A medical forensic report also contradicts his description of self-defense, according to the Swiss outlet F. M1 today. Thomas, a Swiss national, was reportedly arrested a day after her remains were found by a third party. Friends expressed their shock at the news. One told Blick, as the news broke, to me, they seem like the perfect family. That's how you know they're not. That's how you know that they're not. They're a perfect couple, a perfect human, a perfect family. They're not. They're deeply fucked up. One's likely going to kill the other. The couple who got married in 2017 uh, lived overlooking scenic views from a spacious, semi-detached house in an affluent area of Basel. Basel? Again, I don't know. I've never been there. And then another said the relationship had been in crisis for months, with police allegedly called out beforehand over reports of physical violence. But just four weeks before she was killed, Christina had uh, posted pictures of a couple's getaway on her Instagram account, showing a snowy landscape from the window of a luxurious hotel above Lake Lucerne. The investigators, they've said that Thomas, who's a businessman, showed a conspicuously high level of criminal energy in their assessment. I've never heard that before. Never heard that that phrase before. Um, it's basically he seemed shady, shady AF. I think is what the kids would say. Um, but I, I've even in all my time <laughs> uh, since uh, police school, I've never heard um, conspicuously high level of criminal energy. That's, that's funny. Uh, they cited a lack of empathy and cold-bloodedness after killing his wife and his efforts to cover up her death, adding that the defendant had sadistic, uh, sociopathic traits. Yeah, I am going to doubt that it was in a panic. It was probably, it was probably a, um, maybe not well-planned out, because, you know, the ones that are well-planned out, they usually get away with it, but at least semi-planned out. And so it wasn't that much of a panic. Often, one of the things that people do panic about is they semi-plan it out, but then, the, but then they realize how big of a task it is. They've bit off way more they can chew because, you know, a dead person, that, that's a lot of beef. It's a lot of beef. There's a lot of body fluids. It's, it's, un, it's unwillingly, it's... It, it's not easy to chop up a human being. Prosecutors say that the defendant had previously strangled his wife before killing her. Uh, Christina had reportedly switched from modeling to become a catwalk coach, inspiring the next generation of women who only survive on, on a Tic Tac and cocaine, among other things. She trained Miss Switzerland candidates to follow in her footsteps. She also trained businesswomen for walking confidently in their professional or private lives. She's a walking coach. 
So she had won the Miss Northwest Switzerland pageant in 2003 and went on to become a finalist for the Miss 2008 Miss Switzerland competition. The same year, she funded a coaching and counseling agency for aspiring models while still working full-time in IT recruitment. So, uh, Lauren Santon, who was crowned Miss Switzerland in 2023, was one of Christina's catwalk students. She says, we will miss you so much. So basically, I guess everyone in the Switzerland fear says, um, I'm, I'm speechless, or she was just such a beautiful and kind-hearted person. How could this ever happen? You know, that, that sort of same kind of thing, right? Miss Switzerland finalist almost missed switzerland she made it to the very end she didn't quite make it but is strangled and pureed in a blender by her husband that's pretty yucky huh anyways it's a kind of a short one but a lot of people seem to like them and they're just a little bit shorter um i'm okay with that i'm okay with that it's not like i'm getting ad revenue so i need to stretch it out or anything um i love you all Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.